Hi, this is Dr. Rugenstein, and we are standing in probably one of the most um, industrial manufacturing centers of Troy, New York, back in the 1860s. We're on the north side of the posting hill. Here, let me turn this around here. Uh, I said the posting hill. We're on the north side of the Winans Hill. Pardon me. That's over there. This, this side was all part of Burden Ironworks. Now I'm going to do a lot more about Burden Ironworks, but um, this was an industrial area. And and let me tell you, during the Civil War, they made all types of iron products here. Uh, Burden made um, horseshoes, I believe, was their forte, along with a bunch of other things. Um, on the south side of the Wine and Skill was. Um, Albany Ironworks, Troy Ironworks at one point, and um, um, Rensselaer Ironworks. In any case, it was on that side that they actually made steel plates or iron plates for the monitor. Now, I'm just going to be walking back in through here. I'm not really much of an urban explorer as such, but I have a feeling that a lot of these buildings in the near future are just going to be gone. And the building where they actually made the iron plates was um, burned down. Let me put it that way. So far I don't see any no trespassing signs as such. I see a number of no dumping signs. But this was all part of Burden Ironworks. Um, I'll show you on the maps these buildings, I think, are still there on the map. Or, excuse me, the buildings on the map are still here. Let me put it that way. I don't see any access here. <clears throat> but then again, we're still traveling a little bit around. A lot of graffiti. A lot of people have obviously been here. <coughs> Pardon me. Not unusual, I would say, to see uh, graffiti. Curious as to what these buildings were at one time. Well, it has been a place where people have slept, stayed. I'm always interested with the graffiti. It always amazes me because it's a contemporary look on how people feel. Well, I don't know if anybody's living here at this moment, but there is certainly evidence and I can't, it's not a bad spot. If I had a hold up and I was homeless, this wouldn't be a bad spot to, uh, to take in. Not really. Oh, I'm not going to go over in there. Although, obviously, some people have. Yeah, it's pretty much falling down. These buildings will be gone soon. I have no doubt. It's just a matter of time that, uh, that things will be happening here. For the simple reason, they'll just... <laughs> They'll just do it so that no one else can use it for one reason or another. Probably people up there, I'm not sure. I am a little surprised that I have found no one here. Now there's an interesting piece of graffiti. Huh. Fascinating. Now as they say, they, uh, they made a great deal here. Um, I thought I had brought a book, my book along, but I guess I hadn't. Or if I had, I dropped it. Probably back in the car.
maybe hot here. This has been bulldozed. This is the winding scale right here. This is the winding scale. We've talked about this before when we were talking about the uh, smart small sawmill. We talked about how the uh, winding scale came down through there. Take a look over here. It's a well tried area, there's no doubt about that. Well, my light is adjusting, my eyes are adjusting to the light. Right there. I have to say, this is pretty clean for what it is. Chair hanging over there. That's the building we were just looking at a few minutes ago. Yeah, that's the one that we were looking at. All the lapidated, destroyed. Some sort of warehouse or something here. Not sure what the chair is all about. Huh. Uh, water. This is more of a building that has collapsed out this way and continues to collapse. But this was all part of the ironworks. And um, we're talking about the 1860s, 1880s, 1840s. Yeah. People have been dumping here pretty regular, as you can tell. doors for docks at one time and of course the railroad comes through here we'll spot that it's now the uh, Troy industrial track but we talked about it before just recently it was the Troy Greenbush Railroad connected Albany and um, well it connected Rens Rensselaer Greenbush at the time to uh, to Troy, and that was the way to get across over to uh, to uh, Albany or Springfield, I guess, and eventually to Boston and Buffalo. More pipe being stored here. I can say what that was. But as I say, there's pipe stored here. All types of things. Go down towards this other building here. So we're going to walk down this way a little bit here and just see, oops, just see what we can see to some extent. 
Now understand that the uh, the ironworks was all on that side of the road too. But um, we're just going to walk down here. There's some buildings here. We'll see what's going on. See what we can see. There's a truck here cooling its heels. I'm not quite sure what it's doing. But this is all going to get redeveloped. I can guarantee you that. And it won't be for very long. Let me turn this around again. And you can see some of the old buildings here. Oops. Now this was the one I think we saw from the other side that was collapsing, I believe. There's a building in there. Yeah, that's the building that was collapsing right there. And we walked into that one over there, I guess. So we kind of looked through that one. That one there, I'm not going to climb over all this stuff. But I will walk down the road a little bit to see what we can see in this next building. And as I always say, check out the description. Always check out the description. At the end of this road is Main Street, which is sort of odd, since it's in South Troy and it's in the middle of nowhere, sort of, not in the middle of nowhere. It's just in South Troy, it's nowhere as near what you would think of as downtown. Although at one time, again, this was an industrial center. There was all types of things going on here at the time. And so, <laughs> there was a reason why it was probably Main Street. Now, the biggest thing on here is a county jail now that was all buildings at one time and I think that's the buildings that burnt down I'm not sure but I think those are the buildings that burnt down at the time and this was 10 15 years ago maybe there's a building there this is somewhat newer because it's got concrete block the other is a uh, brick Yeah, they're reclaiming that for something else. It looks like where the city's dumping a lot of their stuff. Now, I don't know. <clears throat> and again, I have not seen a single no trespassing sign. All I've seen so far is no dumping. This looks a little more new, maybe. Oh, there's a bed there. Old salt. Pink goons. There's salt there. I wonder if the city used this for salt at storage at one point. Hard to say. Hard to say. There's a chair there. Back room back in there, which is collapsing down. And this is obviously some sort of warehouse. I'm not gonna crawl all over that. And I don't know what's down here. I should have brought my flashlight. But you know, I so many times I, I'm going to, and then I don't. So if I took my sunglasses off, I might be able to see a little bit better. Yeah, this is, I don't know what this would have been at the time. It looks like it was a warehouse. No, probably some sort of manufacturing. That's to let heat out up there. So I don't know. Keep your pit, we don't want it. Bunches of stuff. That goes out over to that other building that was coming down. Well, this is pretty interesting, I have to say that. Winch up there. Hard to say. Hard to say. There's a police car.
put my sunglasses back on. <coughs> that looks like a bathroom back in there. So as I was saying, well, I don't know if I was saying it, but I was thinking about saying it. Let me put it that way. Um, Troy was an important spot in the 1860s. I can't help but tell you that. Um, produced iron and iron products, along with the foundries I've already talked about, Troy, Albany, Burden, and Ironworks. There were uh, 14 smaller foundries. And the area is important for the Civil War. Uh, horseshoes, and then iron plates for the monitor. And this was sort of, this was sort of like a little city down here. It had a public hall, a reading room, a chapel. And, uh, well, it was pretty spectacular. I don't know if we'll find any of that sort of thing. Although I don't know what we just walked through through all this. Although this, is, this looks strictly manufacturing of one form or another. But it doesn't look like where they actually melted steel. But I could be wrong. Melted steel, melted iron. Created iron. Let me put it that way. So this this part was burned ironworks, <laughs> and of course you'll see when I'm re referring to this stuff, you'll see maps. I'll show you maps about where we are and what's going on. <clears throat> now currently, we are work, walking down towards the bridge over the Winans Scale. I want to say the railroad is over there. I think. I'm not sure. And, and again, I have not seen a single sign saying "Don't, don't come in here." No trespassing. Old grain silos over there. You, you, you kind of get a touch, a, a taste of the industrial path that was here. Kind of. I originally was going to go over in there, but that's just all been covered up. So it's an interesting little spot. And again, I always am shocked. By what once was and is now gone. How 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 important an area was at one point, and I doubt anybody comes down here much anymore. And at one time it employed hundreds of people. Let's put it like that. But still, it's it's uh it's interesting. I'm going to turn this around here as we cross the, the mighty wine and go. Oh, there's a detour ahead, and I'm not sure. That says danger overhead power lines. See, trucks come down through here because over here, I think, is now the, um, um, I don't know if I want to call it dump, but it's a spot for um, industrial waste, I guess. Um, I'm not sure. This is a little gate here. Gatehouse of some sort. Fairly new. I say that because it's made out of plywood. This is the wine and skill here. And again, there's not there's not much. That bridge there, I don't know why they, they took it out of service, but they did. And then over in here was the uh, rent fence. Interesting. But over here was the, uh, well, it was called the Albany Foundry, and then it was the Rensselaer Foundry. 
Now this has all been re revamped now. It's all part of the waste stream management, I think, and part of the, uh, um, what am I thinking of here? Landfill, processing point, things of that nature. But one time, this was all foundry in here. That's, that's new. This is something, national grid, I guess. Those are old towers back in there, though. This might be deserted, too. I don't know. It could be. It could be. There's the bridge from, I guess you would think of Waterville to Troy, ahead of us. And this goes on down to where we were on another video when we were looking at the uh, Green and Troy Railroad. So you can see the repurpose. They, they tore everything down. Um, uh, over there is River Road or Water Street. This is uh, the East Industrial Park Road or something like that. It used to be called the Industrial Road and then they moved it, as you can see, from where that is to over here. And um, they have it pretty much sealed off. I don't know what else they're doing here. I guess it's just a transfer point. There's some old ruins over there. There's the railroad over there. I don't think I'm gonna... See, there's a fence all the way around there. I might be able to get closer, but not really get to it. Then again, whoever rented the fence making buku coin on it. Yeah, that's that's the railroad there. Um, that's the railroad there. So you can see the silos. Whatever this is, is closed down. Um, but I'm going to drive down that way and see what I can find going in that direction. So I am going to uh, pick up in a bit. Well, we, are, we, we were down over there at the other end of this, this road here. Um, they have this fenced right in. You can't get over there at all. And that was an old rail way over there this used to be king king's fuel uh tanks let's see if i can dig up a picture of it but they used to have a tank with a smiling face on it um but this is the bridge going into troy from water Elite. 375 i don't know what the name of the bridge is per se um this is the railroad now we talked about this before not too long ago um this is the Troy Industrial Track. Uh, commercial vehicles only, huh? What do you know? Um, but this is the, uh, this is what was the um, Troy Greenbush Rail System. And uh, this is the bridge here. So I'm a little disappointed I couldn't get back over there. Um, but this isn't a too bad of a spot to end with. I am not crawling up there. No. Although people have. There's no doubt about that. People have people have crawled up there. I suppose it would be a pretty good place to, to stay. If you can take take the noise. So anyways, I guess I guess that's our look at the uh, ironworks um, down in South Troy. Um, we got the rail here, although we can't see too much of that. We've, we're not really doing the rail system today. Um, but I hope you enjoyed going through some of those old buildings. Uh, they're going to be gone soon. I just know they are.
Um, they just don't last long anymore. And historical significance, well, they're there, it's there, but some of those buildings, you could save some and, and some of the others are just gonna have to go. So in any case, please hit the like button, please subscribe, ring the bell, and uh, leave a comment. And by all means, have a good day.